So the first bit you want to get into is the electricals. So this is your standard battery pack, which is normally wired um, in parallel, so only producing 12 volts. Um, so that's been rewired to 24 volts, um, which I'll put up a picture of. Uh, um, this one here is the battery I use for all the accessories and everything. So the main thing that you need to do is change out this uh, switchboard here. So um, the one that comes in them is 12 volt. Um, this car is standard four by four, but even if it was two by two, it'd be the same idea. Um, so what happens with this is that's your power in and these are your two power outs. So if this was two wheel drive, you'd probably just have the one power out um, running to two motors. Um, So the other thing you want to make sure of as well is that any of the fuses in there you change from 12 volt to 24 volt um, and put a pretty decent amperage on them at least like 40 50 amps at a minimum so yeah so that's that your motors are here um, in behind the wheels and so they've been upgraded to 24 volt front and back That switchboard, um, down the bottom, it has like an eight plug switch. Now for this particular model, that switch with the eight plugs just plugs straight out of the old one and straight into this one, um, which made it pretty effortless. Now, um, the biggest problems I had were sometimes these didn't match up, the wires from the motors. Um, so I just had to cut the plugs and put the plugs off the other motors on because like sometimes males were going to females and females were going to males and so on. Um, so I have had issues with some of the wires overheating. Um, so I've rewired a bit of it. I still need to rewire a bit more. That's why I've taken a while to get a video up, but um, I figured we'd just get on with it. And so I'll put up all the details for what the switch panels were that I swapped it out with. Um, the motors just fitted straight onto the old wheels because these are only 100 watt 24 volt motors. Um, so what that means is um, they're at the very, very lower end um, of 24 volt, but um, that means that I still get a decent battery life on it. Um, so what else have we got? So when you turn it on, some people don't realize that on the radio those numbers are actually a voltmeter so normally that would say 12 or 12.5 or something you can see it's reading 25.1 um, i've had this now for months at 24 volt and it hasn't burned anything out um, so yeah i think it's it's sort of pretty safe but like i said it's at the lower end 